Dude, I was running around pool stores all day trying to get pool parts in the morning, and they didn't have the pool part I needed, so I ended up having to go with my trusted tried true. Not sponsoring us, but Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I had it. Hey, kinfolk. Welcome back to Keeping It Neat with Derek and Nick. I am Derek, Executive Bourbon Steward. I'm Nick, Certified Bartender. We are going to here to finish out. Um, we're going to be doing the V from the COVID that Sadie had set up for us for a blind review. So we're going to get into that right now and uh, tear into it. Sir, are you ready to whiskey? Ready and able. Let's go. Boop. All right. Check this nose out. All right. Woo, baby. Like it. Wow. It's got a fruity note to it, a little smoke. Very like a, again, I'm getting like that peatiness that I assume to be with that. I was going to yeah. say a little peatiness. I've been picking up on the peatiness. The peatiness. <laughs> that peatiness. Oh, that's nice. It's got a light, it's got a really light note to it. Um, It's not overbearing with the, with the smoke. Got mm. a fruity nose to it. I have a guess for this. You do? I think I might know what this is. Well, you're going to have to write it down so we can embarrass everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and by everybody, you mean me. <laughs> yes, well, yeah. Uh, you know, we've done the guesses before. We know how that's worked out, but I'd be impressed. The title for this will just be like, Nick Fails once again. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so a lot, of, no, a lot of that fruitiness, sweet. Oh, it's got like a like a honey. There's honey some melon. this honey florally melon. going on in there. Floral. A little maltiness. There's some maltiness in there too. Dude, that's good. I want to get in on apple. It. Ooh, I think that's the fruit. No, I think you're right. I think it is. I think that is the fruit. No, I think it's the apple going on in there. So just I've been waiting to bring this out last night. Okay, I opened a new bottle. I posted about it in the group. Yep. Derek, I, I think I might have found like one of my all-time favorites. Really? So it's this Glen Levitt Caribbean Reserve. Ooh. And it's actually um it's it's uh what it's finished in a rum barrel selection. So it keeps that sweet note in there. And I was like, oh my gosh, right up nice. my alley, right? Dude, 4.5 out of five right here. Chug wow, out. really? Oh this my god. Stuff was incredible. And the only note I didn't get, but I got after I like so I made my guess in the group, yep. completely unbiased, not looking at anything. And then I was right about a few things. I was right about um, some apple, some pear. Um, actually, I didn't say pear. I said the apple. I said sweet. I said on the taste, I got vanilla and honeydew. Um, and like that's kind of what I was getting and a lot of sweetness to it, right? Mm -hmm. And I look back here and I pretty much got everything besides a, they said they got in the nose pear and banana yep. um, and then caramel and toffee. So when I kept sipping it, I was like, okay, I could see the toffee caramel, but it's very light. Dude, this stuff's delicious. When I see you soon, because I know we got to exchange. Yeah, we got to do gotta, I'm going to give you some of this. I'm telling you, this is easily one of my favorite scotches ever. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Um, I know I you were talking this. highly it about great. it. That'd be interesting to get into that. But um, let's get in on the, 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 the palate on this bad boy. Wow. Now, ooh, it's like a caramelly note in there. It's light, a little more smoke in there this time. Yeah, too. oh yeah, you can get that. You're getting more of the smoke on the palate, that smoky peaty, which I assume, you know, go hand in hand with it. That's the way I, you know, I, I think I would need that whole a whole nother kit to be able to pick each out individually. But I so the peat and the smoke are one and the same. I'm getting um, oak. Like you can you can taste that barrel on it. Mm hmm. Yep, you can get the barrel in there definitely. Um, again, I'm getting like this rich, creamy, like caramelly thing going on in there um, on the palate for me. It's really easy drinking. This is a really nice sipper. Um, also, like a, I think like that a that you said earlier, like a caramel candy. Yes. Like, you know when you would suck on a caramel candy? I feel like that's what I'm getting out of this. I agree. But I think very that's fruity. It, it, it's super fruity. There's a lot of fruit going on here. I'm still getting that the apple orchard fruity kind of a deal going on. There's also, to me, 
a slight citrusy note in there. I, I, yeah. I think like an orange somewhere yep. in there. I was going to say, I'd probably say some orange. Or oh, good idea, or sir. We'll get a little of the H2O, H2 No for our fans. Mm. This is uh, this is right up my alley. Dude, this I is mean, delicious. This is, this this is, is really good. good, but, you know, disclaimer for everybody out there, we're also doing it at a different part of the day when we don't usually do our um, blinds right now. We're actually doing it early afternoon. We're usually at night doing this. Yeah, like, I know. You, look over, you look over my shoulder, you can see the sunlight outside and the, out of the window <laughs> in the bar room I'm in. Ooh. This is good. Um, Maybe a little like um, brown sugar it, note in there. Yeah, it, it, there's a sweet note in there. Um, something I can't pick out either, and I'm not quite sure what it is. But it did kind of, that water mellowed out that smoke note. Is it cherry? Maybe a little cherry? Hmm. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what the barreling is with this, whatever it might be. All right. Um, you want to write down your guesses, sir? Yeah. Guesses and grade, and we'll go from there. All right, sir. So do you want to show yours first, your grade, and then we'll give our reveal, or do we, however we do that, whichever yeah. way we want to break I, it up? Uh, I feel pretty confident about this one Ooh. for the first time ever. All right. Um, so I believe it's a scotch. Okay. I think it's a, a four and a half out of five on the chug jug scale. Wow. I love this one. You blew it up. I did. Uh, H2 okay. I, I don't think it hurt it. I don't think it it did anything terrible. I think you could do it either way. So I'm like, whatever. Um, I don't know why I'm going so high. Uh, and then maybe 43%. It was it was still very light and florally, like we said, and very smooth sipper. So, Ooh. so I went with the same. I went with the uh, 43% with the H2O. I liked it. Um, I don't think it hurts it or you know detracts from it in any way. So if you want to throw some water in there, definitely do it. It opened it up a little bit with certain areas, but kind of killed it in others. I would just drink it without the water myself. Um, yeah. And now for our grade. So you already gave it a 4.5. I actually gave it a 3.75. I think it, it, I really like this one. This one is very good. Um, I, I enjoyed it. Guess. I know. Oh, you got a guess? What's your guess? I think it's one of the Glenn Levitts. All right. All just right. With, and which is super weird coincidence. I just brought this bottle up and I'm like, the, the way the nose and the tastings are, it's very similar to what to this one I was sipping last night, and I was getting a lot of similar notes. So. Well, I think you're right. I think it's a scotch, and I think it's a space side because of that light fruity yes. note, which Glenn Levitt would be. So All I right. think you're right with that. But let's see what we got. We're gonna open up the chug jug. And woo! All right, Game of Thrones edition, sir. Wow. Got the um, the Dalwini. I'll show the picture. The picture will be in the middle of the screen, obviously. But it's the Game of Thrones edition, Del Winnie. This is the House Stark edition, sir. The House Stark uh, edition. Of course, because um, I'm a Stark. No. So, we, again, keeping it official. This is, you know, so you all know, Sadie wrote these, sealed it up for us. So it's inside the envelope. I have no idea what it was. The Bourbon Bay put it in the can as usual. But Sadie can't be with us today because she had a prior engagement. All right. Let's see. Ooh, thick notes. A lot of notes going on today. A lot of notes. All right, so yes, it's a space side single malt scotch whiskey, 96 proof, sir, 43% alcohol. So we're both right. Nice. Um, no age statement on it, but it has to be at least three years old to be considered a scotch. 100% malted barley. The distillery is Dal Winnie. Parent company, do you want to guess? No, I don't remember what was it. Diageo. Uh, Diageo. Diageo. That was like the one I was trying to so. Um, again, you know, this is the series from the Game of Thrones, obviously. This is one of their parts, which they just re-released, and I don't know how often they're going to re-release them. So um, this uh, single malt scotch, holy moly. Well, that's a lot of history here. On there. So if you want all the history, it'll be down below in the description. Um, the appearance is a golden honey. The nose, sir, you got the apple heavy fruit, honey, um, spice, a graham, 
copper, which could come from the still, and bits of vanilla, I did say, and, uh, well, I know I said caramel. I don't. I might have said vanilla on the nose. I can't remember. And a candy sweetness. On the palate is graham, honey, dried fruit, spice, malty sweetness, and bits of vanilla and bubble gum. That's a bourbon babe thing with bubble gum. Um, the finish is medium, a fruity honey. I'm not looking at the price. I just put my finger over it, so I don't know what it is. Um, spice and vanilla that fades to a metallic raw malt character. Wow. So this is this is amazing. I'm so happy with my score too, and I'm I'm honestly Sadie once again with this. Yeah, Sadie this, killing uh, it. That was a good one. It's just amazing. So uh, the price one fifteen. One fifteen. Um, there's only a couple that go up that high. I know from you know. Looking oh, I at thought the they were all up that high. No, they they range, dude. They start like some of them start at like thirty, forty dollars. Then they go oh. all the way up to like the really super high, which I think was like one hundred and fifty, one hundred and forty. Eighty two. Okay, eighty two. That's a better guess. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go somewhere in the sixty dollar range, I think. And again, I, I I slid my thumb over the price. I bought this so long ago, I can't honestly remember. And so, wow, we're both way over forty one ninety nine. I paid for That's this. That's a steal. So what did this you give right for a score man. on this one? What, what was your final score? I gave it a four and a half out of five. Bro. Wow. I really liked this one. 4.5. And I gave it a 3.75. Well, that's pretty good. Not bad, buddy. I like it. I like it a lot. I could say um, I put in like that Glenn Levitt. Like I said, like this, this and that one are like almost neck and neck in the same the area. Um, actually, I gave them both the same score. Yeah, um, we, we tend to go towards the space sides. We really yes. do. We like that light, those lighter fruity notes with some of the smokiness, but not the overbearingness of it. This one is really good. I'm going to stick with my score three points. I like it, and I like it a lot. And I would go to this one definitely. I, I just, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Mine's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, well, everyone, thanks for joining us. And again, make your comments down below. Like, subscribe, do all the stuff you got to do. You know, you'll see the little things flashing up all over the screen, tell you what to do. But definitely comment. We like to see the comments. We get right back to you. So just hoping that everyone finds a little bit of luxury. And otherwise, ordinary life. Thanks, everyone. If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and press notifications. Also, follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kinfolk.